what would you say is the biggest mistake that independent filmmakers make when it comes to marketing and distributing their films? Not having a plan. Not, again, we go back to not knowing who, who is going to like this work. For documentaries, it's easier because usually there's a cause or an interest that's very much at the heart of the piece. Um, for narrative films, more difficult and I tell people to look at what is the emotional core of the work you know is it meant to be edgy is it meant to be anti-establishment is it meant to just be romantic and illogical and Im impulsive you know those kind of emotional resonance because you can figure out an audience type based on an emotional response and you can start there again like I said it's best to start with yourself the reason why that you wanted to tell the story um, but it, it gets incredibly vague about where to go in the direction if you haven't done that work to figure out who's going to watch it um, and it's much harder for the filmmaker and for sure a distributor when you have a low budget film with nobody recognizable in it and a very broad story that could be universal <sighs> because you don't have a lot of money to market the film and you don't have any stars to hang the marketing on you know usually when a big studio makes a romantic comedy or a quirky comedy or a coming of age story they use known actors in it because that's the easiest thing to hang your marketing on. People know those people and they go to see their work. Um, if you're an unknown director or if you're, you know, if you have a name as a director, you might attract people to seeing the kind of movie that you make. Edward Burns would be a, a good example of that because he doesn't always have stars in his films or known people in his films, but he's a known person. Um, it's the most challenging when it's a hard, hard category to define film with nobody in it and no way to really reach out and advertise your way out of this, you know, to, to just blanket the place and hope that you get some viewers. One, that's kind of wasteful, um, but at least you feel like you're doing something. Um, and two, that, uh, that you probably don't have a lot of money to do that with, so you aren't gonna be able to depend on it. So a lot of times when I get approached in script stage, if I can, if I can stop somebody and, and have them take a step back and say, you know, maybe this story based on the budget you have now is not the one to tell right now. So put this one on the side for, for when you do have more money, when you have had some modicum of success with something else that you can attract people to that story. And it's okay that you have this idea but it can't be realized yet and it's on the back burner. But no, these are the elements I'm going to need in order for this story to be successful to an audience. Now if that's not your goal, you know, that you just, this is a passion project, you really feel like you have to tell this story and you don't really care how many people are going to watch it, a big group of people are going to watch it, or that you're going to make any money. Sure, you know, if you're realistic with yourself at the, at the beginning and you know that that's not going to likely to be happening, yeah, start, go now, you know, but if, if you're just starting out and you have a very limited um, budget to spend and you have some goals, like I really want to get it in front of a bunch of eyeballs or I really want it to get industry attention, make something that's identifiable, the audience is identifiable and fairly easy for you to reach with your labor efforts and it's not going to be dependent on spell spending a lot of money in ads or hiring a big publicist or that it must get into one of the five big festivals in the world or it's not going to go anywhere because that's the realistic, you know, those are the realistic things that it has to have so many elements before it really can get into to realizing those goals. Um, so yeah, I would say that the biggest problem is that they don't think enough about who is going to, to see this.